right there. There you go. All right, we're uh, live. We are live on the Facebook Live. Um, so we have, and of course, the dog wants to bark right as we're starting. Um, we have a pretty special thing uh, where we, we, we got it in the mail today. We got a couple of things. And let me just get that one out of the way so that we can talk about that later. Um, so we talked about a couple of weeks ago the Grip Gear Movie Maker set. And Grip Gear contacted us <laughs> and sent one right over to check out. Uh, so, so Ralph, you know, I, got, I, I guess I do need to mention uh, some kind of disclaimer. This was sent to us. This was, uh, you know, gifted or whatnot. Um, so, so what is it? Uh, basically, the idea is, you know, it's a, you know, for your small cameras like like an iPhone or or a GoPro, right? And Missy's here, so so if you see me looking and talking, hi. I need to talk to somebody, you know. Um, but uh, generally, yeah, it's um, the idea is you know those cool tracking shots um, that sh that you see on TV, the movies, and everything like that. You know, something that you can accomplish with. Um, it looks like a hundred and fifty dollars worth of uh, hardware here. Uh, but I think we saw at least a version of this for about a hundred dollars on Amazon, things like that. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's it it looked like a pretty cool concept. They hit us up on Facebook and and sent one over. I just had to pick it up uh, straight from Hong Kong apparently. So uh, we're going to unbox it. I got a new unboxing cam. Boom! There we go. There you go. New unboxing angle. Might have to move the mic a little bit. So hopefully that works out there. So let's get into this thing. Um, disclaimer: I did open this up a little bit <laughs> and peek and, and everything. So I I am kind of pre. Which is good because you know, you never know what you're getting into, especially when you hear when you hear that kind of sound. That that starts to get a little a little weird. Um, in fact, I forgot to put the instructions back in. Um, so let's give you an idea of what you'll get when you get one of these in the mail. Um, so, like I said, you can find this on Amazon around a hundred bucks. So let's see what we got. Let's make sure we open it the right way so it makes less of a mess. This is, um, I gotta say, as far as presentation goes, um, they kind of beat out more than I expected. Because especially when you hear, I thought it was just going to be like a, a, a box full of parts <laughs> in the long run, right? Because we've had those before, especially when it comes to equipment like this. Uh, so, and I don't know how long Grip Gear has been around or anything like that. But this was a really, really nice setup as far as things go. Um, and like I said, I did a, kind of a quick run through. I didn't get it running quite yet. Um, but I think I know generally how this thing goes together. And the idea is from the videos, um, you should be able to stick this in your kind of gear bag. And if you see the opportunity for a shot, be able to pull it out, um, you know, piece it together real quick and be able to go be good to go. A lot of YouTube videos of this thing in action, a lot of setup videos over on their YouTube page. So you're not really kind of left to your devices on this thing, right? So let's see. We got our track, pretty, and again, pretty sturdy. Like I thought this was going to be, you know, all, all respect to the company. Like you know, seeing seeing what it was on on Amazon and everything, I thought like, oh, this will be some kind of plasticky thing. Like this is a nice heavy metal, okay. and uh, we get this kind of track adjuster here. But before you attach that, you have this thing. So this is the mechanized part that's going to actually. Uh, move the camera and, and, and have that kind of smooth, um, you know, that smooth movement going on with your shots. So you should be able to just remember how this goes. So, and it's going to light up there. I think it might be just kind of figuring out what zero is at this point. And you just line it up. Line it up. Nope. I got to undo it the whole way, apparently. Push your track thingy over this way, and you can squeeze that back in, attach the track, tighten that down there, and you should be good to go. Uh, also, I actually just noticed this bit, but it appears you do have a pretty standard um, connector on the bottom. So this, I believe, can go on like a regular tripod. 
So you can set this. So it's 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 set you know wherever you can put a tripod, um, you know, and elevate kind of the entire track, you know, like right right there. So that's going to be really handy. And it seems you know it's well weighted on both sides. So the weight of you know just an iPhone or a GoPro on this thing isn't going to throw a tripod off balance, especially a tripod that's going to be a little heavier, like ones that we use for our kind of bigger uh, three chip cameras, um, you know, for our productions. So, you know, that's, again, something right away that we could kind of get a little bit more out of. And then it looks like these things are adjustable, too, on the ends. Um, so, you know, whatever you need to, to kind of get a grip. Because they showed a lot of, like, you know, um, you know, attaching it and then having it, like, go up the sides of chairs, up, up in front of instruments and everything. Uh, so that seemed to make sense. Let's see. Look at the instructions. <clears throat> um, so the big thing is... This ball joint here seems to be the most versatile part. So we've got this guy. And he goes right into this spot here. I might have done this in the wrong order too. Um, let me just tighten that guy on to this thing. So you got a nice little ball joint there. We do have a connector for what? What is this? Oh, this piece came off. Here, I'll put it back in. It wasn't tight. We do have a middle one. Makes sense for kind of weight distribution on there, right? You got a nice little ball joint here, so you can stick stick it wherever you need to and whatever angle you need to. Um, throw and again, you know, kind of iPhone sized or, or GoPro size along those lines. And you have a connector right here, and it's ready to go for. See, I don't really have iPhone 5 size, but it looks like it would fit like an iPhone 5 size phone. And of course, you know, in my case, a pretty giant. 6s with a case um good reason you know i was actually considering getting the plus iphones the next go around but i'm realizing i would have giant issues with connectors uh so that's probably going to keep me on this size whenever the iphone you know 7s or 8 or anniversary or whatever that comes out this year uh happens so that's a good personal note there so this guy goes on here maybe my Mistaking that maybe. Nope, nope, there we go. So we have him here. Let's just kind of turn him. There we go. Set our box aside. Whoop! <laughs> it's not a good sign. <laughs> maybe we gotta tighten that down a little bit. Maybe it's this guy. Oh yeah, there's a screw over here, maybe we missed out on. Gotta tighten that. There we go. Alright, so we got that there. Give you guys a little more of an angle on this. So, so out of our track, we pack our phone situation here, and I think more or less you're ready to go, from what I can tell. I probably need to move this guy, guy down here. Um, when you look at this deal, uh, there is a on-off switch, off, low, high, and it looks like the um, low and high are a little bit of. Um, Kind of, this is super loose. Let's try this, this doohickey here. Yeah, that's it. So this one here actually adjusts the ball joint tightness, and this actually holds it in. So, and we do have a standard USB micro in there as well. Um, so I'm wondering if we actually maybe need a little bit of power. Again, something that we did not look at since we're kind of just open this thing up all right now what <laughs> actually a lot of the shots that i've seen that you, you see cords attached to this or the phone or something like that too so maybe there is a little bit of like you, you should have a powered kind of situation um well, let's see what we got i'm going to check our instructions do, do, do. There's even instructions for 
packing up? Where do you put things? Oh, good. Panorama configuration. And that's the other thing too, is you can take uh, this, this the machine part off. You see there's a little kind of wheel dealy there, right? And you got this guy. It goes on there and it turns into a panorama just by itself without the track is the other thing. So we actually have kind of two things, two major things we can do with this. So shoot switch movie maker on and shoot video or time lapse. So um, it does come with a remote, which is going to be super handy when you have it set up and you don't want to like kind of you know touch the thing and mess it up and or maybe you're you're kind of interviewing yourself. I will caution. Uh, no battery comes with it. It looks like it's a watch battery. So go go swing by your Radio Shack or Amazon yourself a watch battery when you're ordering this too. Uh, so I don't know if there's an indication on the box. I think you probably see this in the store. Um, yeah, I don't see any indication of what the what the battery is particularly. So I'll probably be swinging by the Radio Shack later and picking one up. So hey, you stole those. I'm gonna that. Ah! Lost piece. I lost piece. That's as we do. As we do. Um, I said there's connectors for is that there? For a remote. Three volt lithium battery for speed control and direction control. Nice. It's in motion, pressing the button in the same direction will stop it. That's handy. That is handy. Let's see, your low and low and high marks here, low power mode is three volts, six different speeds, high power mode, five volts. So again, uh, if it needs to climb kind of more of a hill with a bigger phone, uh, you probably dump on the high as well. So, and, and if you do need like a bigger phone attached to this, like, for for this piece i mean this is this is a pretty standard uh, uh small you know um tripod head on this you can get bigger ones you can get whatever you need for a gopro to go on this as well so um we have one thing i have not figured out oh that's what these things are so we have a bag of fun as i like to call it whenever we get uh, ikea um and uh these are actually extra extra clips that go on our ends right here. So this will stick in here, and then there's actually a screw that comes with it that you can screw in. And these look like they kind of fold in, these little kind of claw things. And again, they can kind of grip on objects. Uh, so you can, you know, attach this to the side of something to do something vertical or or attach it to something um, to go kind of crossways. So there's that. So we're still partial configuration on this thing. So we're going to take a look at this thing and um, kind of maybe get some shots and all that uh, so we can, you know, hopefully share with you guys and and hopefully be integrating in, in, into a lot of the work that we do, you know, to have, have an option like this. So um, check out, it's the Group Gear, it's the Movie Maker set. Like I said, it looks like, you know, right off the bat, you know, I haven't kind of figured out how to get it turned on and get things moving because I have turned the switch on, but, and the, the so far the, the LED does light up when I move it down the track a little bit. I've kind of attached, you can see it light up there a little bit. I'm not sure if there's like a placement thing that it's not disclosing here that lets me know like where the zero is or something. Um, that track is there. You are definitely on. Let me turn it off and back on again. Okay. What are you reset? Are you are you laughing at my IT methods over here? Turn it off and back on again. By the way, this thing is nicely logoed with the Grip Gear logo. <laughs> Again, it, this is not like some chintzy, you know, uh, uh, thing. Like I've gotten, geez, what have I gotten? I've gotten some pretty questionable hardware that's like, yeah, this is a bracket and a bunch of screws and figure it out. Um, uh, when I got my uh, uh, 
uh, what do you call it, the, the teleprompter. We got a full-on teleprompter, and it was the most confusing and, and bare-bones thing that you've ever seen. It came in a box full of parts. And again, that's what I was worried about getting um, when I was, you know, had this thing coming. Um, I thought it was going to be a box full of parts and figure it out, right? Um, but it looks like they mostly everything, and again, instructions are full color, cardboard. I mean, there's a lot of kind of care to the packaging of this packaging of this thing. Um, and plus, I, I believe, you know, I feel like they're kind of more aiming at highly creative consumers. Does that make sense? <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't think mom and pop are going to buy one of these to do things, but but people that really want to do something like and, and the prosumer necessarily isn't going to go for this, although I think more are considering it um, on, on that level. You know, I mean, this is like a, a $800 phone, you know, that, that you're doing video with and be very comparable. Um, but, you know, everything is, you know, kind of lay out pretty nice in the long run as far as things go. Um, oh, this I did not see. There is a powered by two AAA batteries and I, and, um, I don't know if there's batteries in there or a power pack already because there's definitely something lighting up as I move this thing. But I might have missed out on that part of it. And there's no, so it, it tells you what the pieces are and everything, directional D-pad. I might've started on the back. That might've been my fault too. Um, but it does say it's powered by two AAA batteries for that main part or attach its own power pack into USB plug. So so probably something like, you know, your your phone, you um iPhone power pack, you would USB in um and and power it that way. That way you don't have to worry about batteries. So that'd be actually kind of nice. So I'm gonna go look for some triple A's. I should, I should probably buy some triple A's. Um and you should be good to go. So minus power we, we we're set to go with this. So again Grip gear, the movie maker set. Let me know if you have any questions. We're gonna play with this and try to get some shots. We're probably gonna try to do, uh, probably gonna try to do some some interesting things here around the studio or or outside, maybe around Beachview or something like that, and uh, and get some some kind of samples up. Um, that's all I got for now. Thanks a lot for watching.